hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i will talk about the six common misconceptions about the heritability there are so many misconceptions about the heritability as it is used in two different ways firstly the heritability is used as a word in common language and at the same time it is used as a technical term in genetics so due to these reasons it causes confusion in understanding the technical meaning of uh, heritability in common language heritability loosely means the quality of being heritable or the quality of being transmissible of a characteristics from parents to offspring but in terms of genetics it has completely different meanings in terms of genetics it is used as a genetic parameter and it can be defined as the proportion of the phenotypic variance that is due to genotypic variance so it is a genetic parameter it tells us about the part of phenotypic variance that is due to genotypic differences among the individuals so due to these two reasons firstly because it is used in common language and secondly it has different technical meanings uh, there are so many misconceptions in understanding the heritability in this video we will see the six common misconceptions about the heritability the first common misconception about the heritability is that a heritability of 0.30 indicates that 30% of the trait is controlled by genetics actually heritability tells us the part of variations that is due to genetic differences among individuals in a population so it doesn't tell us that the trait is controlled by genetics or not so if you get the heritability estimate as 0.30 it actually means that the 30% of the total phenotypic variation in a trait is due to variation in the genotypes for that trait so what is the meaning of heritability as 0.3 it means that the 30% of the variation is due to genetic differences it doesn't mean that in each animal 30% of the expression of the trait is due to genes and the rest is due to environment so heritability doesn't tell us that how much of the expression of the trait is due to genes or the environment it tells us how much of the variation is due to the difference in the genotypes the second misconception or the myth about heritability is that a low heritability means that traits are not determined by genes actually heritability tells us the part of phenotypic variance that is due to genetic differences among individuals it doesn't tell us that whether a trait is controlled by genes or not it only tells us about the part of differences in the phenotype that is due to genetic differences among individuals or that is due to genotypic differences among individuals so a low heritability estimate indicates that the genetic variance is low but it doesn't indicate that the trait is not controlled by genes for example number of fingers on a hand which is a human trait is very much genetically controlled but as most people have five fingers on each hand the genetic variance is low very low so the trait is still controlled by genes but the genetic differences are very low and due to this reason most of the people have five fingers on hand the third misconception about the heritability is that a high heritability means that traits are not affected by environment as you know that heritability ranges between 0 to 1 
if the heritability is high it means that the genetic differences are higher but it doesn't mean that trait is not affected by the environment it means that a maximum part of phenotypic differences in individuals is due to genetic differences among them it doesn't indicate that the environment is not affecting the trait environment is still affecting the trait but the major part of phenotypic variance is due to genotypic difference so a high heritability means that trait is still affected by the environment but the major part of variance is due to genotypic variance the fourth misconception about the heritability is that a heritability is a fixed value no heritability is not a fixed value and it varies from trait to trait and population to population so when you estimate heritability for one trait in one population and you estimate the heritability of same trait in another a population the estimate may vary because there are there are differences in the environment the estimate of heritability is affected by several factors and these factors are sample size sample size affect the estimate of heritability the method of estimation also affect uh, the estimate of heritability thirdly location of the farm also affects the estimate of the heritability the breed of animals also affects the estimate of heritability for example if you estimate the heritability for birth weight in hostian frisian and you also estimate the heritability of birth weight in saiwal cattle still saiwal cattle and hostian frisian are the members of same species but they are but because they are the different breeds so the heritability estimates for the same trait between two different breeds would be different some other factors like housing of animals uh, also affects the estimate of heritability the fifth misconception about the heritability is heritability varies from individual to individual no heritability is a population measure it is always estimated in a population so it doesn't vary from individual to individual but it may vary from populations to population because it is always estimated in a population and for a particular trait so the estimate of heritability doesn't vary from individual to individual because it is not an individual parameter it is a population parameter so estimate of heritability may vary from population to population the last misconception about heritability is heritability is the proportion of the phenotype that is passed on to the next generation no heritability tells us about the part of variance that is due to genetic differences in terms of narrow sense heritability we we get the part of variance that is due to additive genetic difference but still half of the additive genetic effect is transmitted to next generation however we don't know what the actual half will be transmitted to each offspring as the actual half is unique to each offspring heritability doesn't tell us about the proportion of the phenotype that is that will be passed to the next generation so this was a video on different misconceptions about the heritability i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it